So I'm going to show you the trick to adding a, an image slideshow that is 100% width, which essentially means that the images will scale and it'll always be the width of, well, the browser, if you will. So you can see I have an example here. Now the idea is you're going to make your images as large as you need them with some, you know, capability to scale here so that they're going to look okay at a larger size or a kind of a smaller size, if you will. I go back over to Muse, take a look. You'll see I have my area right here. Look in the widgets library and you'll see the slideshows section over here, the folder. I'm just gonna grab a blank one and drag it out. So you can drag it on your page. Now, like I said, slideshows are meant to show images, specifically images, and maybe a caption or something like that, but that's pretty much it. If you look right here, you can see, okay, let's add images. There's 50 ways to add them. You can drag them right on, you can add them this way, etc. I'll click on the folder icon, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask me where I wanna grab the images from. Now I'm going to have these already created. And you know, these actually, these images are a little bit narrow or not as wide as I'd like them to be. Images you create for desktop, I'd probably go around 1300, 1500, uh, as far as width is concerned, pixels, maybe even bigger, maybe smaller, depending on what you're trying to, to hit. Um, but these are going to scale. They're going to actually fill up the browser window width. So we need to make sure that they look good. They look decent. And I'm also just applying these to a desktop design. Okay, now we can create alternate layouts for tablet and phone, and we'd actually replace the images in there with smaller versions of these. All right, I'll click open. Got my images in there. I can always add more if I want. It filled up the hero, which is the larger image, with a fill frame proportionally uh, fitting command. You can see down here that I've got tons of options. If I want to set the caption and different things like that, I will. Now, the only key here is that uh, we need something to navigate. If you want to have captions, you got to be able to get between the images to change the caption. I'm not going to put captions on this. I'll just keep it simple. All right, now I'll click to deselect here. Click on the slideshow itself, and you're going to select the entire slideshow. If I click one more time on the larger image, I select the hero image. That's the actual image. Now what we can do is make it 100% width. There's 50 ways to do this. If you go up to the transform up here uh, in the control panel, you'll see 100% width. You'll also see this in the uh, transform panel. If you do that, it's gonna make it 100% width. And you can also, just a little trick here, you can also just drag to snap on the edges here on both sides. That also does 100% width. I'll drag it up and I can arrange this and change the height and do what I need to do. And you'll see that the images are gonna start to scale. Now this is why we're gonna try and make them the size that we want to use them at. So I'm going to go and arrange this and send it back and make sure I've got it on the correct layer. You want to make sure your layering is correct here. And I'll put it up on this layer here if I can. And it's not letting me because it's not master content. That's why. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've got the content out there. Now what I want to do is take a look at it and see what we get. So let me go preview. I can always go under file and preview the page or the site in browser to take a look at it. And there we go. As soon as I grab the edge of the browser window here, you're going to see that things are going to scale nicely and they're filling up. So you can see that sometimes you really have to check the proportions of the slideshow itself, because if your images are really wide, but really short, they are, they're going to fit and they may actually get really big depending on how, you know, you've, you've scaled them. So you got to be careful of the proportions here of how the slideshow looks. I'm just talking in terms of how the images are going to look. You can see these are really, I compress these images a lot. This one doesn't look too bad, but that's something you got to think about when you deal with a 100% width slideshow.